about a plane named Dusty Crop Hopper, who is a crop dusting plane. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Planes. Planes is a 2013 theatrical release about a plane named Dusty Crop Hopper who is a crop dusting plane who dreams of being a racing plane and so he tries. It is directed by Clay Hall, uh, supervising animation done by Shabit Trevetti, editing by Jeremy Milton, music by Mark Mancina, and it's written by Jeffrey M. Howard. The film stars Dane Cook as Dusty Crop Hopper, Stacey Keach as Skipper, Brad Garrett as Gus, Terry Hatcher as Dottie, Roger Craig Smith as Rip Slinger, and Carlos Alas Rocky as El Chupacabra. This is based on a concept from John Lasseter. Uh, filmmakers and writers made an effort to make it not like cars exactly. John Cryer was originally on to voiced Dusty. Uh, it was going to be a Disney Toon animated release direct-to-video, but they ended up releasing it to theaters. It had a $50 million budget and made $240.2 million in the box office, which is insane for this. It has a 25% Rotten Tomatoes consensus. Plants has enough bright colors, goofy voices, and slick animation to distract some young viewers for 92 minutes and probably sell plenty of toys in the bargain. But on nearly every other level, it's a Disney disappointment. It had a video game release called Disney Planes, and it has a sequel called Planes Fire and Rescue. This did look better than I thought it was going to look, and I'll give it that. The opening song and the end credit song were really good, actually. Hey, so this is so bad. <laughs> like, it's so bad. It's Cars 2 without the spy plot, which makes it the worst. Also, writers tried really hard to not make it like Cars. Why is it a racing movie? These are airplanes, which I guess can race. But look at how many things airplanes can do, and you chose racing. But we're trying to make it not like Cars. I don't understand that at all. It's literally an international race between planes. So it is Cars 2, but there's no spy agenda plot happening. I digress. It did have some funny moments, which I will give it. The, um, a crop duster? Well, he's gonna die. Delivered perfectly. So funny. I don't cry, I'm British. It made me laugh out loud. And Rip Slinger complaining to his two minions and his two minions going, well, actually, it's a really compelling underdog story. That made me laugh as well. I thought that was funny. This movie is predictable. The dialogue is bad. And it's really bad. It's boring because it's the same thing. Like, there's nothing exciting about this movie. It's a about a plane that wants to be a racing plane but wasn't born a racing plane. And he's an underdog, so he proves it. He becomes a racing plane and he freaking wins and beats the bad jerk racing plane. It's exactly what you would predict it to be. There's nothing shocking. There's nothing like, oh, I didn't expect this. It's all the same. Dane Cook? Yikes. Brad Garrett, we love to see it. Crazy to see Terry Hatcher in something. That's wild. Well, not crazy to see her something. She's an actress. But, like, I wasn't expecting her to be in this. Um, there's kind of a stack of Priyanka Chopra's in this, which is crazy. And uh, they did still have Ratzenberger come in and do a little cameo. My favorite part, probably any of the jokes that made me genuinely laugh out loud. Those were like the highlights for me in this. Otherwise, ugh. Uh, my least favorite part, that's hard to pick. It's not a great movie, but maybe the love machine scene. It's so secondhand embarrassing. I can't, I can't do it. Recommend? No. Watch again, please. No, I will not be doing that. This flew under my radar. I had, the only reason I knew these existed is because when I went to see something at the drive-in years ago, Planes, Fire, and Rescue was the second movie. And so I remember there being, I being like, oh, there's a Planes, Fire, and Rescue, and it's a sequel. Interesting. Um, them removing the, like, the crop sprayer from Dusty, not throwing off his balance or him having to, like, compensate for that was insane. But then the insinuation that it was, like, neutering him because he came out and spoke higher for a second was insane. I, like, oh my god. 
Um, and the love machine scene I can't do. It just, oh my god, it was just so embarrassing. This is bad. I didn't like it. That's everything I got. I'm four planes <laughs> out of ten. Our total movie count is. Parent test, phone, and crack count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on all socials to find out the movie I'm watching when. I put out videos on Monday, Friday, sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I got a tier starting at just one dollar. You get every video a week early. Coupon code for merch, exclusive merch access. Go check it out. Uh, buy merch. Merch is great. Merch is grand. Until the next time, comment, like, subscribe. But I'm not charge of your life. You are a studio, and don't be rip slinger about it. Good sugar. Good sugar. Oh my god.